How many times have you walked up to the server and wondered what the IP address is, or the server name, or even how much disk space is available? Normally you'd have to run various types of diagnostic techniques to locate this information. Today I want to show you how to use a free utility that displays all the information on your desktop so you can look at it at a glance. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get started. I'm going to load the utility. I have a shortcut to it right here. And as you can see, it loads, by default, it loads every, every field that they, uh, that they have here in this program. And you can just go ahead and click apply to, to look at it. And I'll say okay. And as you can see, here are all the fields that are displayed. Uh, some people like to see all these fields at once. Some people just like to have a few fields displayed. Uh, I personally like to see uh, uh, quite a few of these fields displayed. But typically, there are times when I just want to see uh, maybe what the IP address is and the name of the server and how much disk space is available. So let me show you how to uh, make that information pop out or stand out from the other information. Okay, so we'll choose the IP address here. And I'll change the, the background color to, uh, let's say, let's just say black. And then I'll choose the host name or the server name. And I'll make that black as well. And then we're going to look for uh, free space, if I can find it here. Oh, that's right in front of me. Okay, and I'll click on it here and change the color. And then just click apply. And as you can see, now the fields that I look at the most stand out from the other fields because the font color is different. Um, let's go over a little bit uh, what buttons are available and what they can do for you. Um, you can First off, you have your, your custom button here, which allows you to add your own fields. So if you want to go ahead and uh, create uh, use VBScript or, or uh, some other type of uh, query mechanism to pull uh, the operating system information, you can go ahead and run those uh, custom fields or custom scripts in here. Okay, the next one is uh, the background, which allows you to customize your own wallpaper. So if you have your own bitmap image, so let's say uh, maybe you take a your company logo and you um, uh, have a fading effect. Maybe it would say like a you know Acme uh, Auto Parts at the top, or and then it's in dark blue and then fades to white uh, down here. You could use that bitmap on here, and then it would have a real nice uh, custom look and feel for the for the company. So that's where you would enter your uh, your own custom wallpaper. And then of course you have your position. You can locate it in different positions uh, on the screen. Far left in the middle or the middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. Um, you can specify uh, how many inches wide each line is. Um, if you have multiple monitors, you can configure that here, where you can have your primary monitor display, uh, you know, whatever location you want on whatever monitor you choose to use. So since I only have one, we're, we're not going to select that feature. And uh, I'm just going to keep it right in smack dab in the middle for myself. And then the desktop button allows you to apply these same settings, whether you're logging into the server itself or you're using the console login. And I don't have any wallpaper set for the console, but I like to use terminal services for a lot of uh, remote access. So I'll say uh, update this wallpaper as well and click OK. And then you can do a preview. OK. And uh, that is about it as far as uh, using this utility. It's pretty straightforward. The download link for this utility will be in the Rolodex for the Silver members, and the installation of this utility will be inside the membership section of the website as well. If you don't have a membership yet, go ahead and enter the name and password and sign up for the free training videos. Thanks for visiting Understand IT Now.